bit for a sequin state park. Here, this stuff tastes like pink lemonade. Oh, yeah. Very sequin. It's very pretty. It has a beautiful long driveway to get into the state park. Ranger Station, I think. There's a golf course parking, and then campers stop to register inside. So it looks like you can purchase hunting and fishing licenses. On the third loop, but here we are going down the second loop. On this map, you can see we went all the way to Site 40 um, on the third loop, but now we need to go here on the second loop. So that's where we're headed. And we did get a lakefront spot and I want to say they were like $35 or $39 a night and it has full hookup. I think up to, I think it's 50 amp, but we can choose um, 30 because that's what ours, our camper runs on. It's going to be over here, I think. 56? Uh-huh. Fifty-six. Yep, right there. John, look at it. Look at what? Look at our spot. John is backing up to our site. Oh my goodness, it's a beautiful day. Here's our site. This is Lakefront. This is site fifty-six. It has a little grill, a little table, it has a little fire pit right there, and this little trail down to the water. This is just so beautiful. There's Elle. Hey Elle. <laughs> what you think? <laughs> I know, look, it has a fire pit right there. We can have fires. We can just go fishing right there. I know. I think that side is site 54. Maybe. There's Maggie. Hey Maggie, what you doing? So here uh, we have Jonathan um, finishing set up and he is unhooking the trailer from the Sequoia with his power jack. And um, here he is doing that. You can see our propane tank covers, our battery boxes. Um, so he's just getting things level. Um, so yeah, that's what he's doing right now. And it's very simple. The weather was beautiful. I'm pointing out the uh, battery boxes right there. We have some tools in the other battery box, propane tanks, and there's Emery on her bike, waiting to go ride on the trails. I think I'm talking about how we can use electric or propane to run our hot water tank right here. So yeah. All right, real quick here, we're going to show you the water hookup here at Percy Quinn. Here is a spigot. We have a Y connection just in case we want to hook up a hose to rinse stuff or wash stuff. Um, it's off right now. Um, and you can see right there that the nozzle is pointed off. But this one is our fresh water, drinking water, city water hose. So we have it on. We also have a water pressure regulator. And, and it won't um, let the PSI go above 40. So that protects your camper and pipes um, from having too much pressure in them. 
This is also um, a great way to just make sure that everything is working as far as water pressure. This is our filter. Some people connect it at the spigot. Some people connect it at the camper. It's just your preference. Um, I don't know why Jonathan chooses here. He may do it like a different way at some point later on. I don't know. So anyway, that's how we hook up everything here at the spigot. This is our freshwater city water hose, drinking water hose. It is a heated hose. It's 50 foot. So up at the camper, you can plug it in um, to heat um, the hose up on a cold uh, night or cold day. Here is the control panel at the camper where we hook up the water. Um, where we can flip that blue switch to city water or fill up a fresh water tank if we're boondocking. Um, this is the cord to plug in the heated fresh water hose. This is cable hookup. Um, and again, this is where we insert the fresh water, uh, city water connection with that heated drinking water hose. <clears throat> um, if you'll look at the bottom, you'll see that little black uh, area we need to get a 45 degree uh, elbow to be able to run it through that hole so we can lock the um, door that closes off the storage area and we will soon so here is Jonathan he is about to put um, the leveling feet down and he has a drill bit and a drill that helps him do it much faster than manually cranking it um, he isn't using leveling blocks right now because we have a nice concrete pad and I think Percy Quinn State Park um, updated them to concrete pads a few years ago. So he's just going around and he is using his drill to bring those leveling feet down. Um, and then he has the chalks right there holding the wheels so it doesn't roll back and forth. Um, you can you know choose whatever jocks that you like we just have the cheap yellow ones maybe one day we'll upgrade to some fancier ones um oh there's the sewer where we're gonna drain we don't have it hooked up right now because we're not staying that long and we can just empty the tank before we leave in a couple of days so it looks like he has done leveling, leveling everything and putting down the feet. Electric hookup, it's really simple. It usually looks like this, you have two plugins and um, you can choose either, well, it looks like they have a, a 20 amp one, but uh, we have a 30 amp turned on. Some bigger rigs need the 50, so Percy Quinn has all of the options for you. I do recommend having a surge protector. We don't have one right now, but we have one that should be coming in soon. Um, just to protect any kind of electrical surges from ruining different things in your um, camper. So anyway, this is where we have it hooked up. We will have a surge protector um, on our next trip, I think at the end of December. So be looking for that video. I think we're going to uh, Bull Shoals White River State Park and we are really excited about that one for trout fishing. Hi baby. And this is where electric hooks up at the end of the the back of the the rig yeah baby you hook maggie up to the tree we need to get a longer leash for her don't we uh, oh maggie it was just lying there huh lying there. oh wait what yeah. there was a oh there's a rope at, oh oh i love that so you found this rope already hooked up at the tree oh okay good girl Oh, girl. We would just let her roam. However, Percy Quinn has a requirement that any animals are leashed. Maggie is really good about staying with us it, until she sees a bird or another animal. Then she will run crazy, won't she, Elle? We're about to go on a bike ride. Are you videoing, Elle? No. Oh. <laughs> we locked up the camper and we're about to go on a bike ride. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera ready. So we're on one of the bike trails and it is a lake view bike trail. There's Elle. This is a very steep descent into the trail. But it goes from here to cabins. And you have the lake. People who run. I need some kind of I'm waiting. Ooh. 
What you think, Em? I don't like going down the hill. <laughs> Isn't that a pretty lake? They have lots of signs that says that say beware of alligators. So these look like some of the cabins you can rent. Squirrels. There's lots of squirrels, huh? What y'all doing? So here we are ending our um, bike trail. We were a little bit winded. I don't think we're in terrible shape, but um, it is pretty hilly because it goes around the whole lake. And uh, yeah, so evening came around. We cooked some salmon and had a wonderful first night here at Percy Quinn State Park in Mississippi.